My dad said something to me after the divorce. He said every soldier has two families, those you raise and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here, eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to lead, eight days watching my men, my family, kill and be killed, eight days wishing it would stop. Baker! You okay, Baker? Get him on his feet! Shit! I never asked to be squad leader, but I had no choice. Now I've got 13 soldiers under my command. 13 men depending on me to make the right decisions and not get them killed. 13 families relying on me to bring their husbands and sons home. 13. 13 is not a lucky number.
Baker, where the hell's all your gear? Oh, shit. Take my 45 and shoot anything that's wearing gray. Keine Sorgen mehr zu machen. Ob da noch mehr sind? There's a couple of houses here. I'm gonna try and figure out where the hell we are. I don't know where the hell we are. I sure as shit don't want to stay here with all these crowds about. Let's move, Baker. German army will show up. There'll be plenty of time to reminisce later. Anybody know where we are? No idea. I'll find out. Stay put. Hello, just we American. Americans, what town is this? Any of y'all know French? I can't understand a goddamn word she's jabbering. I speak a bit, sir. Then get your ass over here, son. Pouvez-vous nous dire où nous sommes? Uh, she says we're just northeast of Saint Marigles. Damn it! Well, we're headed in the wrong direction. I'm gonna see if I can gather some more guys. Y'all head that way. Through the gate, and link up with anyone else you find as you head east. Stay alive. That's an order. You really start to notice the quirks a person has when you think he might be dead in a week. I remember the first time I saw Leggett. He was in the breakfast tent. He was cutting a hard-boiled egg into small pieces with a knife, like ham. It occurred to me at this point I'd never in my 23 years of existence seen a man cut an egg into slices like that. I don't know why I remember that. There's an AA gun over there. We have to take it out. Are you gonna pay for that? You just broke her damn gate! Like it? Shove a sock in it!
stand by to fire. Don't fire until I do. I need fire on those crowds! Crowds! Sarge, get down! You stay put against that fire! Here we go! Got him in! I'll flank him! Just keep up the fire! some alive what do we do there's nothing we can do but Sarge keep moving like it we got crowds
that gun with some TNT. So we can get the hell out of here. Can't stop to rest now. The 4ID is coming up through Utah Beach. And there are Germans all over that area. Let's move! In the plane, just before we jumped, I finally came to the conclusion that I had to swallow my fears, take charge and lead these men. It seems fate has a dark sense of humor. I'm a man with hell standing between me and my men. No matter. Not even hell will stop me. I got word from another platoon that some of our boys dropped in this area. Crowds were nice enough to flood it for us as a welcoming gift. Sure as shit isn't gonna be easy finding them out here. Unless, of course, they... find us. Is that red? This crowd's all over. I think I saw a mortar team just back there. Jesus, it's great to see you guys. I spent this morning in a ditch full of water. But I got one. Picked him off as he sipped his morning joe. Did I mention it was great to see you guys? The landings are scheduled for 0630. So there's no time to lose. Baker, you take Hartsock and clear the main road. I'll try to gather up anyone I can find around here. I'll meet you on the beach and we'll try to link up with 4th Infantry. Good luck, guys. Cover there! Roger that! Got it! Targets! That's it! Get him! Firing! Reloading! Let's stick together! Roger that! Red! Rally on me! Got it! Suppressing Target. fire! Firing! Baker, what the hell? Stay Cease with me! Fire. Cease fire! Roger! 
I'm 2020 eyes. No use in hiding. of fire on that position! with me. Got it. the last one don't waste ammo wait till you see the smiling face stay with me roger that wasn't sure if we we're gonna see any of you guys been shooting at Germans coming off that beach all morning one poor bastard was trying to take a crap when Alan plugged him. I swear, he was going for his gun! We got this as well. Poor bastards had had to put up a hell of a fight before a potato masher got the best of them. Browning 30 cal. Watch out for the blood on the trigger. Got it! Roger that!
Another in. down! Pleasure, O okay. Looks like the 4th ID has things under control. As soon as they start moving their equipment ashore, we'll get resupplied and move out. I've got to speak to HQ to figure out where the hell the rest of our men are. Get some rest while you can. we got a long day ahead of us. I understand the large hearts of heroes. The courage of present times. It's from a poem my dad used to read me as a kid. It amazes me that something so beautiful could be part of something so ugly. I never asked to be squad leader. Kick off, Fox 3! Can you hear? Over? So we're supposed to kill them all before they finish breakfast. Say, what do you suppose crowds eat for breakfast anyway? Sausage? Toast? Oh, God damn it! Cold glass of blood? Sarge, I can't get anyone on this thing. We're fucked. All right, same plan as before. Hartsock, you're with Baker. The Crouch know we're here, so go say hello the airborne way. You mean shoot them? Yes, obviously, Private Allen. It's just, I've never said hello like that. You could just say shoot them. Well, smartass, you're with me. Baker, remember most of these guys don't know we're coming. So you and Hartsock tread lightly while you can. Move it! Red! Fall in! Suppress those crowds! Take him out! We're coming back! He's down! Over here! Roger that! Cover me!
Doctor, get back! Fire now! Baker, what the hell? Attack them! With me! Got it! You're with me! Roger! More crowd! Base of fire! Over there! Firing! I can't shoot there, Sarge! Quick, get over there! Roger that! Oh shit, there's more!
Get them now! Covering fire! Shift! Fire! Covering fire! I have any Target! Red! I need suppressing fire! Get over there! Oh shit, there's more! Let's go! Got it! He's down! Heavy base of fire! There! Now! Fire! Go! I can't hit him! Quick! Get over there! All right, it's connected. Back blast clear. Red, go over there. Oh shit! Load another. Oh, load it, another. Hang on. Load it now, Garnet. Hang on. No, hang on. If you get me killed, Garnet, I swear to God, I will fucking kill you. Load it. Wires connected. Go. More crowds! I'm out! Reloading! Baker, get down! He's down!
gotta get around them! kind of crazy. I'm sure I'll never do anything like that again. I'm sure we'll do something that crazy a few more times before the sun goes down. So who's hungry? The keys are still in it! I say this Opal Blitz just became official U.S. Army property. What do you think, Mac? I think I'm driving. Familiar faces makes a place like this almost feel like home. Almost. Sometimes I forget Alan and Garnett are two people. They showed up at Fort Bragg together and no one has seen them apart since. We just started saying Alan and Garnett like it was one word. Even with the damn mist drops, they still managed to stay together. What do you suppose killed him? Was an old age, I know that. They wouldn't just leave him here. Didn't we take this town? I think we have to assume for the time being that Fukerville isn't under our control. Red, you're ruining my good mood. So what's the plan, Baker? Red, follow me! Let's move! We'll go! Jerry! Unload on him! Stick together! Take cover there! You heard him, let's move! Fire! Roger! Fire shots! The Americana! Sarge, get down! That's good. Suppressing fire! Shoot 
Don't Come stop ahead. firing! Double time! Got it! I'm in! with me let's go we'll go That's it! Get him! Stay on me! Move out! Got it! Hold on! You gotta get around him! Garnet! Watch it!
anyone He's else! Down. Keep your eyes peeled for more! We got here as soon as we could. <laughs> Heard our guys were wiped out in a German counterattack. Baker, I pegged you wrong. First I thought you were a shy, poetic young man. Turns out you're a shy, poetic young man who kills everyone who gets in his way. That's a downright admirable quality. It's amazing what you talk about after the lead stops flying around you. Hartsock told us of one bar fight too many. His reward was a nasty scar on his cheek courtesy of a loudmouthed lumberjack and a broken beer bottle. Allen and Garnett said they both enlisted right after high school rather than wait to be drafted. When it was my turn to talk, I just froze. I realized that nothing in my life before had really meant anything. Until now. We have to link up with the other squads in Veerville. Any minute now, gliders are gonna start landing in that field. If a glider hits even one of those poles, it's curtains for the boys inside. Clear out as many of those damn things as you can. You know, he has a nasty habit of making this shit sound easy. Okay, Baker. Lead the way. Red! Get to that cover! Let's move! Roger that! to that position! Gunner, fast!
kommen von der anderen Seite! Ja! Take that bastard out! Get over there! Stay with me!
Suppressing fire! I need suppressing fire! Let's go! Target that area! Fire on that position! Let's get him while we go! Suppressive fire!
stay on me. Move out. Target. Roger that. There's more of them. Man, I thought I was a goner. Thanks for taking those things down. I figured I'd get skewered for sure. Hey, you with the 502nd, right? I'm supposed to resupply you guys. I got plenty of ammo inside. Take whatever you need. I couldn't sleep, so I made sure the guys pulling guard were awake. In the dark, you can't help but think about home. I was thinking about George. How he used to launch bottle rockets in a creek behind his house and blame it on the kids down the street. How he always seemed to go after the same girls in high school. How he could be dead right now, and I wouldn't even know it. Well, most of the time I was relaying messages to higher headquarters for Mac. I only saw Krauts there at the end. You guys look like you had a rough morning. Baker, we've got an M5 light tank moving here to provide support. Link up with them and clear the town. I don't know how many Krauts are in the area, so take it easy. Good luck, boys. You're with me! Let's move! Roger that!
to that position! Get moving! Roger! There's more of them! Let's stick together! Double time! Got it! I need to go to confession again after all this! Jawohl! Support! Quick! Get over there! You heard him, let's move! Roger! I see it! The steward! I don't see anymore! I'm always saving your ass, Matt. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Consider me part of the squad. Some armor here. Set up there. Suppressing fire. Son of a bitch! Shot at this. You're with me. Let's stick together. 
firing! Get over there! Give me some armor over there! Stay with me! Let's move! Roger! the four guys from Fox Company were kicking the hell out of the Germans. I knew right away it had to be you, Matt. Glad to see you're still alive. We're headed to a crossroads up ahead. It doesn't have a name on the map. All right, let's get moving. Just stay close and we'll be fine. George and I sat on the back of his tank and talked for an hour about home over a K-ration. For once, it didn't taste like paste in a can. It's the weirdest feeling being at war with your best friend there. You feel almost invincible. Like nothing can stop you from driving all the way to Berlin and winning that ticket home. All right, Baker, we can't sit here. Let's clear this road. Your guys can use my tank as cover and keep the crowd infantry off me. Let's go! Hey, I'll be waiting. Go, go, go! Move! Let's move! Attack! 
Attack them! Come on, get over there! Tighten it up! I need suppressing fire! No mercy!
hole, god damn it! I need you over there! Go over there! Move out! That way! Full speed! Hit that gunner! Some armor over there! Got 
follow me! Get over there! Put some fire on him! On me. One. Move out. We'll go. Don't waste ammo. Wait till you see the smiling I'm face. I'm only shooting at kneecaps today. Listen, I saw what happened. We've got to clear out of here. We'll have time to think about it later. DeSola and Corian are back in Beaumont with some guys from the 506. We have to get back and regroup. Sink wants to take St. Com at the crack of dawn. I rested my head on my helmet for an hour and pretended I was asleep. I spent most of the night trying to figure out what I'd say to George's mom when I saw her again. He died a hero. He died for the man next to him. But he's gone, and I'll never see him again. I'll never see George again. Day three. Hey, Baker. Sorry about your friend. Hey, Baker. Mac needed to talk to you. It sounded important. It's just a shitty deal. Well, in war, everybody gets a shitty deal.
Now there's a farmhouse down this road a bit. And MG's been wreaking havoc on anyone who passes by. Baker, this is the first time I've left two teams under you. This is a lot to take in. While you're in combat, watch your flanks and make sure as hell the crowds are getting hit on theirs. Remember, Baker, base of fire with one, flank with the other. Move out! Let's move! We'll go! Go, go! Let's move! Got it! Move fast! Target! Face of fire! Over there! Don't stop! Fire Don't stop firing! Suppressive fire! We gotta get around them! Reloading! We gotta get around them! He's down! He's left Fire on that position! That's Fire it! Get it. him! There's 
get to that car! Take that bastard out! Another down! Wir werden alle sterben! Das klappt nicht, Herr Feldwebel! Get back! Watch it! Was that the last one? Two crowds over there! Cover me! Still alive, huh? Glad to see it. St. Comdemon is just down the road. We're gonna sit tight here for a few hours. Check your equipment, make sure you got enough ammo. Baker, eat something. You look like hell. I remember in high school thinking that George was the only family I needed. When my parents split up, I was eight. My dad packed up his car and gave me some stupid speech about duty, honor, and country. That even though he didn't want to leave, he had to. I mean, I'm eight years old and my dad is driving away and out of my life. I'm just thinking, you're my dad. Why the hell aren't you here for me? 
duty. I look at these guys and I see them as my family, my brothers. They're the only family I got left. All I'm saying is, logistically, Superman would break Batman in half. Are you calling the Batarang a sissy toy? Yeah, with a name like Batarang, why would anyone think Batman's a sissy? Well, Superman doesn't even have a cool identity. He just puts on glasses and acts like a jackass. And it's a wonder you don't like him, Leggett. I happen to like superheroes that have a brain. Leggett! He can melt things with his eyes! His eyes! Knock it off! There's enough bullshit to fill a swimming pool around here. Why would you fill- Don't! All right, Boy Wonder, we gotta get moving. Listen, Baker, I need this town cleared. The whole 101st is moving in tomorrow, and we want to make sure things are nice and cozy for them when they get here. All right, Baker, make it happen. Everybody get down! Baker, contact! Let's move! Yeah. We'll go! Coming back! Baker! Get out of the way! I need suppressing fire! I can't hit him! I can't shoot there, Sarge! I 
can't shoot the bastard from here! That way! Get to that cover! Roger! Let's go! Roger! Not a lot of time here, Baker. Leggett got word from upstairs that a tank is moving into this area. Their ammo resupply is right on the other side of this building. So find anything you can to make sure that tank doesn't get into town. There's a lot of movement still in the area. So we'll stay here and cover your ass. Go! More crowds! Hit them crowds. now! Shoot them all! Suppress those bastards! No way, Sarge! Covering fire! He's down! I can't hit him! I can't hit him! I can't shoot there, Sarge! Got him pinned! Coming They're coming back!
know, if I gave anyone else the order to attack a tank on foot, they'd probably just tell me to go to hell. You're one tough son of a bitch. And you didn't want to be squad leader. You really get to know a man if you have to watch him die. That moment right before he realizes it's over. That moment his face reflects every decision he's ever made. What kind of life he led. And if he regrets it. So, take the farm. That's it? Well, I'm sure the bloodthirsty Nazis will just walk out and hand it to us if we ask them nicely enough. Well, what if we say please? Do you guys ever stop? Only when you take breaths in between all your whining. You trying to say something, Alan? Shut up, both of you! The fight is with the crowds, not each other. Leggett, you're ranking private. So you take Alan and Garnett with you around the back. Why are we with the boy wonder? Don't even try to argue with me, son! I was kicking ass while you were playing dolls with your sister. Now get moving! Baker, I gotta get going. You take Hartsock, Sola, and Cory. Capture that farm and link up with Leggett on the other side. Base of fire! There! Now! Set up there! You're with me!
Mark it over there! I need some armor here! Stick together! Hurry up! Get over there! Get moving! Roger! Get to that cover! Let's move! Roger that! Suppressive move fire! Keep up the fire! Get over here! 
Get up!
dead. There were too many of them. God. How can a man stay focused on life when all he sees is death? I can't get it out of my head that sending Alan and Garnett with Leggett got them killed. If they'd just been with me... Fuck! If they'd just been with me! Maybe they'd still be alive! Maybe I could have saved them! Maybe. Maybe one of us should go talk to him. And say what? Thanks for getting a friend skill? Better luck next time? Fuck him. Red leaving him alone isn't gonna help anything. Well, not seeing him is sure as hell gonna help me. Skinny prick better not cross my path. Would you listen to yourself to Sola? He fought too. He almost died with him. Did he? How do we know he wasn't off in a bush somewhere and left him to die? The Sola! Keep talking like that and we're gonna have a real problem here. You've never seen me have a real problem. Baker, there's no time for this. Focus is key. If you can't stay focused today, just tell me and I'll get another squad leader. All right, there's a bridge at the end of the train wrecks. Battalion thinks the Jerry's might use the bridge to cross tanks over the river. I want you to go there and drop it into the water. And don't worry about Leggett. I'll straighten him out. Let's stick together! Let's move! Roger that! Roll! I need some armor here! I NEED SUPPRESSING FIRE! GET HIM! Get back! What? 
Give me some armor over there! Fire! Right there! Fire at him! I can't hit him!
When you're under fire, there's really only one thing on your mind. Survive. I ran faster than I ever ran in my life, and I was carrying 30 pounds of gear. Somehow your brain starts to rationalize. Just get down this road, Matt Baker. Just get down this road and you'll be going home. It's only once you stop running that you start to wonder. Will any of us actually return home? Alive? Come on, Revis! Look at me, buddy! Look at me! That shot wasn't far off! We gotta move! He's not even dead yet! Hang on! Obi! Zanovich! Let's move! What are you doing?! I'm saving your ass! Let's go. More targets! Hey! Target them! Reloading! Fire! Targets! 
You heard him. Let's You're with move. me. Got it. Let's go. I we'll win ya. today. Keep it up. as good a day to die as any! If we're gonna make it up this goddamn causeway alive, we're gonna have to lay suppressing fire on those crowds. The hell of all Germans out there, from what I gather, they don't like us too much. Let's go! Target! Hit them now! Put some fire on them!
set up there! Move! Target's active! Very little goes through your mind when you're knocked out by a bomb from a low-flying Stuka. You're not really awake or asleep, you're just sort of there. It's pleasant, really, while you're out. But somewhere in the back of your mind, you know when you come back, it won't be pleasant. God, I hate being right all the time. We thought you were dead. Matt, DeSola didn't make it. Take it easy, you've been out for a while. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. We gotta go, Red. Red! We gotta go. Holy shit! Bulletproof Matt Baker, back from the grave. All right, here's the deal. You knew it'd be rough when you joined the Airborne. Now you're gonna learn what rough really means. In a few moments, the Artie will smoke the other end of this causeway. The smoke will conceal us as we run across the field and take the farmhouse. If you see something move, shoot it. If it screams in German, shoot it again. Nobody moves till I give the command to charge. I hate this part. Hold! Stay with me! Let the smoke build! Wait for my order! Okay! Target. Let's go! Hiding. 
You! Keep moving forward and clear out the rest of the Germans in the area. I'm setting up the command post here. Go and give them hell. Go over there. You heard him, let's move. Take cover there. Got it. Heavy base of fire. There. Suppressing fire! Don't stop firing! Face of fire on that position! Face of fire! Unload on them! Charge! Here we go! Let's finish them off! My little brother's never Set up there! Us. Move now! Understood! Double time, boys! I'm on it!
I'm on it. Suppress that goddamn gun. Let's Move. stick together! Understood! The man. I'm on it! Ah. Run! Watch it! Stay low and go! I'm coming back! Baker, you did a damn fine job today. That was one of the finest military executions I've ever seen. Let's get back to the farmhouse. All my men are accounted for. Baker's dozen is more of a half dozen, really, but we're okay. It's the first time I've sat down and talked to some of these guys since before we dropped. Hartsock is still telling stories about his bar fights. Obi is still talking about his dame back home. McCreary is still kind of an asshole. It's good to be together. We don't have much time, so I'll make this quick. We're spread thin, and there are Germans everywhere. Lieutenant Combs and what's left of his platoon are pinned down not far from here. They might last two hours. They might last two minutes. But they won't last at all if we don't reinforce them. We have to hold this position as well, so I can't send all of us. Baker, 
take Hartsock, Obryski, Zanovich, and bring Combs and his men back here. Red! You're with me! Let's move! Understood! Stop. 
Base of fire on that mortar team! Four on the fire! I can't even see it! Cover fire! I can't shoot where I can't see! Take cover there! Let's move! Keep up the Cover fire! I'm on it! Cover me! Reloading! Watch it! He's down! Cease Stay fire. with me! Cease fire! Double time! Got it! We've got to get back to that farmhouse. The only way is up that road, and I saw Germans in that orchard. We have to clear them out on the way back. Damn fine job, Sarge. Damn fine. Let's get back to the farmhouse. Glad to see you're okay, sir. Baker, we've stirred up a hornet's nest. The crowds know we set up CP here and they're about to pour everything they have on us. Everything! Don't let them through! Let's move! Okay. Let's Contact. go! Contact! Let's go! Understood! Watch your men!
Keep up the fire! Me. Understood. You heard the man. Got it. These are for you and your men. Found them in the cellar. It's Calvados and Apple Brandy. Get some rest, boys. Tomorrow you move into Carantan. I've been staring at it for days, and the crowds in that damn town on the horizon were staring right back at us. We all knew that no matter how bad the fighting was, when we got to Carantan, it would be worse. With only seven of us left, I'm trying not to ask myself how many more will die today. I guess no one ever said war would be easy. If they had, there would probably be a lot more wars. Baker, we gotta clear this city. I got another squad coming in south of you. They're hurt worse than you guys, so I'll be assaulting with them. How many Krauts? Uh, whatever's left. We're not too sure. I trust you, Baker. Let's go, Leggett! His pep talks aren't as peppy as they used to be. Red! Move! Sarge, get down! Heavy base of fire! There! Now! Let's go! Double time! I'm on it! Go! Take Double cover! Time. Jawohl! Sofort! Verstanden! Get down!
I'm empty! He's down! I need suppressing fire! I need you over there! Keep calm! You Set up there! Man. You heard him, let's move! Got it! Suppressing fire! Suppressing fire! Target that area!
Those bastards! Get to that cover! Double time! Quick, get over there! You heard him, let's move! Yeah, Find some cover! It. Move it! Take cover! Double time, boys! Schießen Feldwebel! Incoming fire! Fire on that position!
you over there! That way! Double time! You heard the man! I hear ya! Face of fire!
Die Armee fahren uns in die Flanke! Die kommen von der anderen Seite! Die Armee fahren uns in die Flanke! Die kommen von der anderen Seite! Take that MG-42! I can't shoot there! Baker, whatever it is you guys eat for breakfast, you gotta share it. Anyway, we'll have a CP set up here by the hour. I don't think the crowds can mount a counterattack anytime soon. We should head to the church in the middle of the city. We'll be able to see what they're up to from there. I suppose we're making progress. The feeling of victory is being ebbed away by the faces of Musa, Garnett, Alan DeSola, Rivas. And George. Is this it? Do we really take Carantan? Part of me just wishes the Germans would attack, just so I can get these thoughts out of my head. My dad used to tell me that it was the quiet times after combat that scared him the most. Now I understand what he meant. We don't know where it's going to come from. Or if it's going to come at all. Which is why I say we break out the champagne. Where do you think we're going to get champagne, Obi? 
Leggett lobbed a grenade into the only place in town with liquor. We'll get him when this is over. Obi! Where the hell did that come from? Far away! He was hit before we heard the shot! Corey and the McCreary are still in the street! Sadovich, let's go! The crowds are counterattacking! We've got to hold this position! Baker, pick off as many of them as you can! What's your message? Over? Crowd armor moving into our area? Acknowledge! How many? Over! Shit! Two tanks in the area! We gotta go, Sarge! Tanks? The crowds must want this town back bad! Baker, get down to the lower level!
rockets!
think we got them all. My dad said something to me after the divorce. He said every soldier has two families. Those you raise, and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here. Eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to lead. Eight days watching my men, my family, kill and be killed. Eight days wishing it would stop. Come on, Corian! We got the Krauts on the run! Max waiting on us! Let's go! In a minute. What the hell are you doing? Picking a spot. <laughs> For what? Okay, I'm ready. Are you feeling okay there, Corian? Never been better. All right, this is it. We're airborne because we're the best of the best. No one stands in our way. No one. Let's move. I think he stole your line there, Baker. Red, form up. Let's You're move. with me. Understood. Let's move.
Shoot what I can't see! The army's fighting on They're the hitting him! Put the fire on him! Fire. I can't even see it! Take that position! Me. We'll win today! Keep it up! Get Got up it. here! You heard the man! Got it! Baker! Baker! Baker, listen! It's just starting to heat up over here! We've seen some forces moving into position on the ridge there! This is definitely where the party is gonna happen! Go to the rock and the whole goddamn German army!
Ich habe einen erwischt! Take that armor down!
crowd over! Hit them all! Don't let them get away! Double time! Park it over there! Head that way! Get over there! Move quickly! We only got one shot at this! Assault that armor! Roll, goddammit! Move up fast! Pour out the fire! Shut that tank down! Roll! We gotta take that tank out! Go! Head over there! Move quickly! We only got one shot at this! Some armor here. Move now.
Position! All I'm saying is I wasn't scared. Even when those 20 or so krauts came charging across the field, I wasn't really counting. Well, except the number of those bastards I dropped. Lucky for them, you can't count very high. Yeah, I was pretty fucking scared. Hell of a thing we did today. Gotta wonder what waits for men like us when we get back home. There's rumors coming down the pipe that the squad's gonna be split up after we leave Carantan. Hell, Corian even thinks we're going home. Wrong again, Sam. A few other guys have been talking about getting a farm or some land, some peace and quiet. God, not me. Last thing I wanna do is live out my days alone after the shit I've seen. Well, it's not time for goodbyes yet. Not by a long shot. Why in the hell did you bring back that busted piece of crap? Not sure. Seemed like the right thing to do. What are you gonna do? Bury it? I might. Knock off the chatter and fall in! Now I'm not one for speeches, so I'll make this short. First, there's a Colonel Marshall here to interview some of you for General Eisenhower. Don't screw that up! Second, I've been in the Army a long time and in some pretty good units. But in all that time, well, I just want to say you guys did good. We lost some good men. But at the same time, we sent a message to Hitler and his boys that we're coming for him, that his days are numbered. Now I've got a promotion to make. Sergeant Hartsock, front and center. Second squad needs a new leader and the responsibility is now yours. So on these stripes or I'll cite you for being out of uniform. Sergeant Baker! You know this isn't over, right? Hell of a thing we've been through these last eight days. Welcome to the end of the beginning. Grab your gear, troopers! We've still got a war to fight! Third Squad, you heard the man. Move out! 